been really focused the last couple of years to bring in the story of the artisans themselves a bit more. The business is so incredible and the fact that we're buying directly from artisans. We know them, we know their family, we know the struggles that they go through, and we know the successes that they have. And we, our business has been able to grow alongside a lot of theirs as well and to be able to see that. So my focus over the last little bit has been to bring that story forward a bit more and to have their background and their experience be showcased in the bar. Customers often see the beauty of the pieces themselves. The inspiration of that I think is so important, but also to know who's behind that piece that made that happen and the artistry and the craft that it takes to do that. The business has seen multiple areas of growth over its 40 years. We still love that event style nature where we bring people for this fall event and this fall activity and we want to continue that for sure. As we grow, definitely building up the e-commerce shop is an important aspect and my focus really is to build a great team around that can support the business 12 months of the year. I came back with a few of, of these kind of masks. I was able to sell them on High Street in Montreal and Sherbrooke Street to galleries and shops there. And as a result of that positive uh, feedback to think that it's possible, then we started doing a little bit more. And the next year I went back and bought some more and that's sort of how it got started. Sounds very exotic, you know, going to Bali on a buying trip, but, uh, and it was exotic in some ways. Bali is just an incredible place, but it was hard work and, you know, for the first few years, never mind having a Land Rover with a driver, you know, Paul did most of his traveling in these little BMOs, they're called there. I've been involved with Paul's company from the get-go. I was with him on his first buying trip in 1978. I just loved the nature of the business. It got offered to me. I mean, Paul wanted to retire and asked if we might be interested. It was just the right timing. It just happened that it was meant to be. Our first day that we opened, someone said, look outside. I said, I don't have time to look outside. And I looked outside and saw a lineup at the front of people waiting to get into the barn. And I almost started crying. Like, oh my God, they're coming. We thought we were prepared, but we didn't know really what to expect in our open. Just, we had followings from Kingston, from Toronto, from people that used to come to my brother's sale. Um, they all just flocked up here, plus the local. We got some wonderful press. People found out about us quickly, word of mouth spread, and um, it, it was the first couple of years, very, very hectic during the sale, and we had to expand quickly. We had to expand out front, out back, and, and make more space for everybody. Um, yes, I did grow up right here. I spent my formative years on these fields, working with my father and my brothers and my sister. My mother built the barn with my dad, and there was a time when my dad was building the trusses and he wanted to build it with pillars in the middle and then he suddenly changed his mind, pushed something aside and says, no, we're not going to do that. The city's moving out this way, so I'm going to build it so you boys and girls can do what you need to do in the future. And I'm so happy that he didn't build pillars in the middle of the barn because the atmosphere would have been totally different. It's a really like, I don't know, it's a huge space. There's so much stuff. It's a it's an outing to come here yeah. and you can always find like something for yourself, a gift. It's a great place to Christmas shop. It's the amazing variety and the amazing artistry. And... Okay. Not year to too long, but 13. <laughs> year 13. My husband coached Annika, and so that's how I know the Bockers. I came here one summer to help out. 13 years ago. Peggy's actually a very good friend of mine and my background is display and merchandising and when she was first setting up the barn she phoned me in a panic saying could you just come and help because I don't know what I'm doing. 
So I came out and that was like 18 years ago. If you could say anything about what it means to be running this business as a family and what it means to you. Thank you for them for entrusting me as like a five-year-old helper <laughs> through to, you know, 16-year-old taking on maybe more responsibility, um, but also to for them for having the vision for creating a business like this. I don't think I could have ever built this from the ground up, but I'm really thankful to be able to take the lead at, um, taking it from where it is and, and continuing it forward. It's so fabulous to be able to call my aunt and uncle for advice and brainstorming at multiple different times in my life leading up to now and going on in the future. And they're just such a resource. And my parents are just the best and they really make this transition and they, they make working alongside them so easy. Um, they really help um, with the everyday things and also the being able to craft out the vision and when we hit obstacles, how do we deal with it, how do we get through it. So um, I'm just really thankful for my brother too for being able to build us into you know the next steps and the next big path forward. His his advice has been astronomically helpful in the last few years. So the whole the whole family have worked together and and all of our supporters too and all the people who are like family, the staff who, who formed a family here too. Um, it's been, it's, it's all those bodies and all those minds working together to make this happen. 40 years of memories. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Discover the world through handcrafted goods.